Kim Anthony Lode Kleisters, Dutch pronunciation, Kim Klipsters, listen, born June 8, 1983, is a Belgian former professional tennis player. Kleisters was a world number one in both singles and doubles, having held both rankings simultaneously in 2003. She won a total of six Grand Slam tournament titles, four in singles and two in doubles. Kleisters competed professionally from 1997 to 2012 in an era where her primary rivals were compatriot Justine Hannon and 23-time Grand Slam singles champion Serena Williams. Coming from a country with limited success in men's or women's tennis, Kleisters became the first Belgian player to attain the number one ranking. Together with Hennen, she established Belgium as a leading force in women's tennis as the two of them led their country to their first Fed Cup crown in 2001 and were the top two players in the world in late 2003. Individually, Kleisters won 41 singles titles and 11 doubles titles on the Women's Tennis Association, WTA, Tour. She was a three-time winner of the WTA Tour Championships. Between singles and doubles, she was a champion at all four Grand Slam tournaments, winning the US Open in the Australian Open in singles and Wimbledon in the French Open in doubles with A.I. Sugiyama. Her success at majors was highlighted by winning three consecutive appearances at the US Open. Plagued by injuries and having lost some of her desire to compete, Kleisters initially retired from tennis in 2007 at the age of 23 to get married and have a daughter. She returned to the sport two years later and won her second U.S. Open title as an unranked player in just her third tournament back. She defended her title the following year and then won the Australian Open in 2011 en route to becoming the first mother to be ranked number one by the WTA. Along with Margaret Court, she also holds the record for most Grand Slam singles titles won as a mother with three and was the first to win one since Yvonne Gulagong Kali in 1980. She officially retired from professional tennis after the 2012 U.S. Open. Kleisters was born to athletic parents with backgrounds in professional football and gymnastics. She was renowned for her athleticism, which was highlighted by her ability to perform splits on court in the middle of points. She built the offensive side of her game around controlled aggression while also using her exceptional movement to become an elite defensive player. Kleisters was very popular and well-liked as a player having won the Karen Kransk Sportsmanship Award eight times. She was inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame in 2017. Kleisters was born on June 8, 1983 in Bilzen, a small town in northeastern Belgium. She grew up with her younger sister Elke in the nearby town of Brie in the Flemish province of Limburg. Kim is the daughter of Leigh Kleisters and Els van de Kaysbeek, both of whom were accomplished athletes. Her mother Els was a Belgian national artistic gymnastics champion. Her father Leigh was a professional football defender who played for a variety of clubs in the top flight Belgian first division, including KV Mechelen with whom he won the UEFA Cup Winners' Cup in 1988. He was also a member of the Belgian national football team, tallying 40 caps and competing in two World Cups. Kleisters credits her parents for giving her a footballer's legs and a gymnast's flexibility. She also attributes her success to the freedom they gave her when she was a young player, saying, Without the support I've had from my family, I wouldn't be where I am. They let me make my own decisions. When Kleisters was five years old, her father built a clay tennis court at their home as a gift to his daughter to celebrate him winning the 1988 Gauden Schoen, an award given to the player of the year in the Belgian first division. He had previously announced the idea of the gift as a celebration of the award during a television interview. Kleisters began playing tennis earlier that year after attending a lesson with her cousins and her uncle while her parents were away. From then on, she became fixated on the sport. She began playing with her sister at the Tennis Dell Club in Genk by the time she was seven. Her first coach Bart van Kirkhoven recalled that she was extremely energetic and never wanted to leave the tennis court, adding that, if the group before her did some sprints to finish off the session, Ken would join in. Then she put her heart and soul into her own training session after which she joined the next group for their warm-up exercises. At the age of nine, Kleisters began working with Benny Van Hout in the more distant town of Deest. Along with her sister, she trained for 15 hours a week, including five hours of individual instruction, which Van Hout said was an insane amount of total hours. She continued to train in Deest until she was 12. During this time, she also first worked with Carl Mize and Vin Facet both of whom would coach Kleisters later in her professional career. When she was 13, Mice took over as her primary coach at the Flemish Tennis Association in Antwerp. 
Kleisters had success at both the national and international levels at a very young age. In 1993, she won the 12 and under division of the Belgian Junior Championships, the Coupe de Bormann, in doubles with her future longtime rival Justine Hennen. At the time, Kleisters was 10 years old and Hennen was 11. A year later, she won the 12 and under singles event at the same tournament. Kleisters continued to play alongside Hennen, winning the doubles event at the 14 and under European Junior Championships as well as the 14 and under European Junior Team Championships for Belgium, both in 1996 and the latter of which also with Leslie Butkowicz. Her first big international junior title came at Les Petits, a high-level 14 and under tournament. She defeated future top 25 players Ivita Benesova and Elena Bovini in the semifinals and final respectively. Kleisters played two full seasons on the ITF junior circuit, the premier junior tour that is run by the International Tennis Federation, ITF. At the very end of 1997, she partnered with Sofia Gabaxi to win her first ITF title in the doubles event at the Great A Orange Bowl, one of the highest level junior tournaments. In 1998, Kleisters had her best year on the junior tour finishing the season at career-high rankings of world number 11 in singles and world number 4 in doubles. She won two junior Grand Slam doubles titles, the French Open with Yelena Dokic and the US Open with Eva Derberg. She defeated her French Open partner Dokic in the US Open doubles final. In singles, she made it to the Wimbledon final, but finished runner-up to Katerina Srebotnik. As a 14-year-old, Kleisters could only enter professional tournaments through qualifying since the WTA Tours policy did not allow players her age to receive main draw wild cards. In August 1997, Kleisters qualified for her first main draw at her second career tournament on the lower level ITF women's circuit, which was held in the Belgian coastal town of Coxidae. She won seven matches in total, including five in qualifying, to reach the quarterfinals. Kleisters did not enter another professional tournament until after her runner-up finish at the Wimbledon Girls Singles event the following summer. Playing in Brussels in July 1998, she won both the singles and doubles events for her first career professional titles. Kleisters continued to excel at the ITF level, winning four more titles within the next year, two in both singles and doubles. Kleisters began 1999 with a WTA singles ranking of number 420 in the world. Around this time, Belgian women's tennis was beginning to flourish. Both Dominique Van Roost and Sabine Appelmans had been ranked in the top 20 within the previous two years, complementing the rise of Kleisters and Hennen on the junior tour. This success helped lead to the revival of the only WTA tournament in Belgium, which was relaunched as the Flanders Women's Open in Antwerp after not being held in six years. Kleisters made her WTA debut at the tournament in May, entering the main draw as a lucky loser after losing in the final round of qualifying. She won her first career tour level match against Miho Saiki and advanced to the quarterfinals, where she was defeated by top seed Sarah Pitkowski despite holding match points. Point one week after Kleisters turned 16, she entered Wimbledon as the youngest player in the top 200. After barely having a high enough ranking to get into the qualifying draw, she ultimately made it to the round of 16 in her Grand Slam tournament debut. She defeated world number 10 Amanda Kutzer in the third round and did not drop a set until losing to Steffi Graf one round later her only career match against her childhood idol. Kleisters also had a good showing at the US Open, losing to the eventual champion Serena Williams in the third round after squandering a chance to serve for the match. Kleisters next played at the Luxembourg Open held in the town of Kockelschuer just outside the capital. She won the title with relative ease in just her fourth career WTA event, taking affinity for the friendly atmosphere of the smaller tournament in the faster carpet courts. Most notably, she faced off against Van Roost in the final and only conceded four games to the top-ranked Belgian. Kleisters also made the singles final in Bratislava at her next tournament, finishing runner-up to number 11 Amelie Moresmo. Nonetheless, she was able to win the doubles event with compatriot Lawrence Courtois as her partner. At the end of the season, Kleisters was named WTA Newcomer of the Year, having risen to number 47 in the world. Kleisters was unable to repeat her success at the Grand Slam tournaments in 2000, not advancing past the second round at any of the singles events. However, she continued her steady climb in the rankings up to number 18 on the strength of two more titles, one at the Tasmanian International in her first tournament of the year and another at the Sparkassen Cup in Germany near the end of the season. The latter victory was Kleisters' first at a Tier 2 event, the second highest level tournament and followed up a loss in another Tier 2 final to world number 1 Martina Hingis earlier that month. 
In the middle of the year, Kleisters also finished runner-up at the Wimbledon mixed doubles event alongside her boyfriend Leighton Hewitt. At the Indian Wells Open in early 2001, Kleisters finally defeated Hingis in her fourth meeting against the world number one player to reach her first Terai final. After winning the first set of the final, she ended up losing in three sets to Serena Williams. The match was overshadowed by the controversy of the crowd booing Williams for her sister Venus's late withdrawal from their semi-final, leading to both sisters boycotting the tournament for 14 years. A few months later at the French Open, Kleisters became the first Belgian to contest a Grand Slam singles final. She had defeated number 16 Hennen in the semi-finals in their closest and highest profile match to date, coming back from a set and a breakdown, and also having saved three brave points that would have put her behind 5-2 in the second set. The final against Australian Open champion and world number four Jennifer Capriati was an even tighter match. Playing a day after her 18th birthday, Kleisters won the first set but lost the second. After a French Open final record 22 games in 2 hours 21 minutes in total, she was defeated by Capriati 12-10 in the deciding set. The match was ranked as the greatest French Open women's final in open era history by Tennis.com. Kleisters would go on to make it to at least the quarterfinals at each of the next three majors. She also played in her first Grand Slam doubles final at Wimbledon later that year, with A.I. Sugiyama as her partner. She won three singles titles in 2001, including her second titles at both the Luxembourg Open and the Sparkasen Cup, to help her finish the season at number five in the world. With four doubles finals in total, she was also ranked number 15 in doubles at the end of the year. Kleisters maintained her top 10 ranking throughout 2002 despite struggling with an ongoing shoulder injury in the first half of the year. Her best result at a Grand Slam event came at the Australian Open, where she lost another three set match to Capriati in the semi finals in their first meeting since the French Open final. Nonetheless, she continued to rise in the rankings to number three by March, her best ranking for the season. Although Kleisters did not reach another Grand Slam quarterfinal the rest of the year, she won three more titles leading up to the year-end WTA Tour Championships in Los Angeles. She received her third invite to the event, which only the top 16 players in the world are guaranteed entry. Kleisters made it to the final with ease after dropping only six games in the first three rounds, including a victory over Hennen in the quarterfinals and a retirement due to injury from Venus Williams in the semifinals. Her opponent in the final was Serena Williams who entered the match with a 56-4 record on the season and having won the last three majors of the year. Although Serena had won their first five encounters and was considered a clear favorite, Kleisters upset Serena in straight sets to win the championship. After the tournament, she said, this is the best victory of my career. The 2003 season was Kleister's Susanna's Mirabilis. She competed in 21 singles events, reaching the semifinals in all but one of them advancing to 15 finals, and winning nine titles. With a record of 90-12, she was the first player to accrue 90 wins since Martina Navratilova in 1982 and the first to play more than 100 matches since Chris Evert in 1974. Kleisters also played an extensive double schedule, compiling a total of 170 matches between both disciplines. She partnered with Sugiyama the entire year, winning seven titles in 13 events. This season also marked the peak of the rivalry between Kleisters and Hennen, as the pair faced each other eight matches, the last six of which were in finals. In doubles, five of her ten finals were against the team of Virginia Ruano Pasquale and Paula Suarez. With her success, Kleisters became the first Belgian world number one in singles or doubles, achieving both feats in August. Kleisters began her single season by winning the Sydney International over Lindsay Davenport, her third consecutive title. She extended her tour win streak to 17 matches, all without dropping a set, before she was defeated by Serena Williams in an Australian Open semi-final where she had a 5-1 lead in the third set as well as two match points on serve. She said afterwards, The only thing I regret a little bit, is those two double faults to start the game at 5-4. I could feel that she was really trying to step it up, and that she was hitting the balls a lot more aggressive and had almost no unforced errors at the end. Williams won the title to complete her Serena Slam. After losing in the final at her next two tournaments, Kleisters recovered at the Indian Wells Open to win her first Terra title. Like in Sydney, she defeated Davenport in the final. She won another Terra title on clay in May at the Italian Open over number 4 Amelie Moresmo, who had a chance to serve for the match in the second set. At the French Open, 
Both Kleisters and Henin reached the final to guarantee that the winner would become the first Belgian Grand Slam singles champion. Henin had won their only meeting in a final in 2003 thus far at the German Open, which was also their only other encounter on clay. While both players had match points in Germany, Henin won in Paris in a lopsided affair where she only lost four games. After losing in the semi-finals at Wimbledon to Venus Williams, Kleisters rebounded to win two tier two titles at the Stanford Classic and the Los Angeles Open. With the second of those titles, she attained the world number one ranking, in part because the top-ranked Serena Williams had not played on tour since Wimbledon due to a knee injury. She was the first woman to become number one without winning a Grand Slam singles title. Kleisters regained the top ranking in doubles the following week to become only the fifth player in WTA history to be number one in singles and doubles simultaneously. Despite playing the US Open as the top seed, Kleisters again lost to Hennen in the final in straight sets. Kleisters had been regarded as the favorite entering the match because of her performance in the earlier rounds in Hennen's lengthy semi final match the previous day. The title helped Hennen rise to number two in the world. The last stage of the season featured Kleisters battling Hennen for the top ranking. Kleisters defeated Hennen in the final of the Tennis Grand Prix in Filderstadt to defend her title in her world number one ranking. This was the eighth time in WTA history where the top two players in the world faced off for the top ranking. Although Kleisters lost the top ranking to Hen in the following week, she regained it a week later by winning the Luxembourg Open for the third year in a row. She finished her season by defending her title at the WTA Tour Championships in the first year where the tournament switched to a round-robin format in the initial stage. Kleisters swept her group of Moresmo, Elena Dementievec, and Chandra Rubin. She won her semi-final against Capriati before defeating Moresmo again for the title. With the million-dollar prize, Kleisters finished the season as the Tour Prize money leader and became the first player to earn $4 million in a season on the WTA Tour. Nonetheless, Hennen took the year-end number one ranking by improving on her performance at the event from the previous season. In the early part of the season, Kleisters and Sugiyama won three titles on hard courts. However, they did not win any big titles through May, losing in the Australian Open quarterfinals to the Williams sisters and finishing runners-up at their first two Tier I finals. They entered the French Open in Wimbledon and made it to the finals at both events. Kleisters and Sugiyama defeated the top seeds Rowano Pasquale and Suarez in both finals for Kleisters's first two Grand Slam tournament titles. The French Open final was a tighter match, ending 9-7 in the third set. Despite these titles, the duo remained behind Ruano Pasquale and Suarez in the rankings until August when Kleisters became world number one. She held the top ranking for four non-consecutive weeks. The pair were the top seeds at the US Open, but withdrew in the second round due to rain delaying Sugiyama's fourth-round singles match for three days. They ended the season by finishing runners-up to Ruano Pasquale and Suarez at the WTA Tour Championships. Despite Kleisters' success in 2003, she seldom played doubles during the rest of her career. Although Kleisters maintained her form into 2004, her season was ultimately marred by injuries. It was feared that she would need surgery and miss the Australian Open after she injured her left ankle in the Hotman Cup. Nonetheless, she competed at the event and reached the championship match without dropping a set, despite aggravating her ankle injury in the quarterfinals. Her opponent in the final was Hennen and unlike their previous two Grand Slam finals, Kleisters was able to win a set. With Hennen up a break at 4-3 in the third set, the chair umpire incorrectly overruled a line call on break point that would have leveled the match. Hennen ended up winning the game and the match. Kleister said afterwards, I'm just as disappointed as after the last two Grand Slam finals, but I played a lot better this time. In February, she won her next two tournaments, including the Diamond Games in Antwerp for her first WTA title in her home country. After Kleister's withdrew from the Indian Wells Open following one match with a torn left wrist tendon, she only played in two more WTA events the remainder of the season. She returned to the WTA Tour six weeks later with a wrist brace, but again withdrew after one match. In June, she found out she would need surgery to remove a cyst in her wrist. As a result, she remained out until the Hassel Cup in Belgium where she needed to retire in her third match. There were few expectations on Kleister's entering 2005, as it still was not certain whether she would be able to play. After missing the Australian Open, she returned to the Tour in February. In her second and third tournaments back, Kleisters won both Terai events in March, the Indian Wells Open and the Miami Open, 
to become the second woman to complete the Sunshine Double after Steffi Graf in 1994 and 1996. She defeated world number one Lindsay Davenport in the final of Indian Wells, as well as number two Amelie Moresmo and number three Maria Sharapova in her last two matches in Miami. These titles lifted her ranking from outside the top 100 back into the top 20. Kleisters was unable to continue her success into the clay or grass court seasons, winning just one title and losing in the fourth round in three sets to Davenport at both the French Open and Wimbledon. After Wimbledon in late June, Kleisters only lost one more match through early October. During this stretch, she won five titles including her third Stanford Classic and her fifth Luxembourg Open. She also built up a 22-match win streak and defeated Hennen in the final of the Terry Canadian Open in their only meeting of the year. Kleisters's most important title of the season was the U.S. Open, her first Grand Slam singles title. As the fourth seed, she was not tested until the quarterfinals, when Venus Williams was two games away from defeating her at a set in a braid up. Kleisters rebounded to win the match in three sets and then defeated the top seed in world number two Sharapova in the semifinals, also in three sets. Despite her previous struggles in Grand Slam singles finals, she won the championship against number 13 Mary Pierce with ease, only conceding four games. As the winner of the U.S. Open Series, Kleisters received double the standard amount of prize money. Her $2.2 million prize was the largest in women's sports history at the time. Kleisters's last tournament of the year was the WTA Tour Championships. Although she had a chance to return to number one if she outperformed the top ranked Davenport, she only won one match and did not advance out of her round robin group. She finished the year ranked number two, having won a tour best nine titles in all of her finals. She was named both the WTA Player of the Year and the WTA Comeback Player of the Year. Despite this success, Kleisters announced in August that she was planning to retire in 2007 because of her injury troubles. The 2006 season saw a variety of injury issues for Kleisters. She only played in 14 tournaments missing the U.S. Open as well as the Fed Cup final. While she reached the semifinals at the other three Grand Slam singles events, she was unable to advance to another final. Kleisters withdrew from her first tournament of the year, the Sydney International with hip and back problems. Although she recovered from those issues in time to reach the semifinals at the Australian Open, she needed to retire from that match as well after twisting her ankle while down a break in the third set against Amelie Moresmo. Nonetheless, with Davenport losing in the quarterfinals, Kleisters regained the number one ranking. She held the top ranking through mid-March. Kleisters returned for the Diamond Games where she finished runner-up to Moresmo, but needed to withdraw from the Indian Wells Open because of the same ankle injury. While she was healthy enough to play in a regular schedule during the clay and grass court seasons, Henning continued her recent dominance of their rivalry over this stretch. She defeated Kleisters in the semifinals of three consecutive events including the French Open and Wimbledon. During the U.S. Open series, Kleisters won her fourth Stanford Classic and finished runner-up to Maria Sharapova at the Terre San Diego Classic. However, her summer season came to an end when she fell on her left wrist in her opening round match at the Canadian Open. This injury kept her out until late October. She made her return at the Hassel Cup and won her second consecutive title at the event. Kleisters entered the WTA Tour Championships ranked number five in the world where all three other players she was grouped with were Russian. Although she lost to her group's top seed, Sharapova, she defeated Svetlana Kuznetsova and Elena Dementieva to advance. Her season ended in the semifinals, where she lost to world number one Moresmo. Kleisters entered 2007 intending to retire at the end of the season, but only ended up playing in five tournaments due to injuries. She won her only title of the year in her first tournament, the Sydney International. The Australian Open was her only Grand Slam event of the season. For the second consecutive season, she lost in the semi-finals, this time to top seed Sharapova. Kleisters's last tournament in Belgium was the Diamond Games, where she finished runner-up to Moresmo for the second year in a row. A hip injury limited Kleisters's remaining schedule. In her last two tournaments, she lost to Lea Inne in the fourth round of the Miami Open in March and qualifier Julia Vakulenko in her opening match at the Warsaw Open in May. Her last win was against Samantha Stoser in Miami. A few days after losing in Warsaw, Kleisters announced her retirement at the age of 23, foregoing plans to finish the season. A few months after Kleisters retired, she married basketball player Brian Lynch. She gave birth to a daughter in early 2008, 
less than two months after her father was diagnosed with lung cancer. He died 12 months later in January 2009. Kleister said, The birth of Jada was the best moment of my life, but it also taught me a lesson because we knew that my dad was terminally ill. I realized that new life had been born, but a few months later another life would disappear. It was a very intense period in our lives. Nearly two months after her father's death, it was announced that Kleisters would play in an exhibition in May with Tim Hanman against Steffi Graf and Andre Agassi to test the new retractable roof on center court at Wimbledon. In March, Kleister stated that she was planning to come out of retirement, motivated by returning to the training schedule from her pro days to prepare for the Wimbledon exhibition. She added that she was taking a different approach to tennis, saying, I am looking at this as a second career, not as a comeback as I am now in a situation where not everything revolves around tennis 24 hours a day. Kleisterson Henman won the exhibition doubles, and Kleisters also defeated her idol Graf in singles. She commented, I wanted to feel good here on court. And I've enjoyed it. This is the pleasure which was lacking at the end of my first career. But now I've got my motivation back. With no ranking, Kleisters needed wild cards to begin her comeback. She requested and received wild cards for the Cincinnati Open, the Canadian Open, and the US Open. In her return to the tour in Cincinnati, Kleisters defeated three top 20 opponents, including number six Svetlana Kuznetsova, before losing to world number one Dinara Safina in the quarterfinals. She recorded another top 10 victory in Canada over number nine Victoria Azarenka. Kleisters was still unranked entering the US Open, as players needed three tour events to have a ranking at the time. Nonetheless, she made it to the final, notably upsetting both Williams' sisters. Number 3 Venus in the fourth round and number 2 Serena in the semifinals. She defeated Venus in a tight third set after they split the first two 6 0. Her straight sets win over Serena was overshadowed by her opponent receiving a point penalty on match point for verbally abusing a line judge. Kleisters then defeated number 8 Caroline Wozniacki to win her second U.S. Open championship. She became the first unseated woman to win the title at the event and the first mother to win a Grand Slam singles title since Yvonne Gulligan-Cauley in 1980. With the title, she entered the WTA rankings at number 19. Her only other tournament of the year was the Luxembourg Open, where she lost her second match. At the end of the season, she won the WTA Comeback Player of the Year award for the second time. Kleisters planned a limited schedule for 2010 to keep her focus on her family and ended up playing just 11 tournaments. In her first event of the year, she won the Brisbane International, narrowly defeating Hannon in a third set tiebreak in Hannon's first tournament back from her own retirement. She entered the Australian Open as one of the favourites, but was upset by number 19 Nydia Petrova in the third round, only winning one game in that loss. Kleisters did not return to the tour until March. After an early loss at the Indian Wells Open, she won the Miami Open for the second time. The only set she lost was in the semifinals to Hannon who she again defeated in a third set tiebreak. She only conceded three games in the final against Venus Williams. During the clay court season, Kleisters tore a muscle in her left foot, which kept her out of the French Open. Although she returned for Wimbledon, she was upset in the quarterfinals by Verizona Riva after recording another win over Hannon in the previous round. In the latter half of the year, Kleisters entered only four tournaments. During the US Open series, she won the Cincinnati Open the tournament where she returned from retirement a year earlier. At her next event, she was eliminated in the quarterfinals of the Canadian Open by Zona Revo while struggling with a thigh injury. Nonetheless, Kleisters recovered to defend her title at the US Open. In the last three rounds, she defeated three top 10 players in number 6 Samantha Stoser, number 4 Venus Williams, and number 8 Vera Zona Riva. Venus came the closest to ending her title defense but lost in three sets after serving two double faults in the second set tiebreak which could have won her the match. Kleisters won the final over Zona Riva with ease in less than an hour. This was her third consecutive title at the US Open in the fourth consecutive time she made it to the championship match, having skipped the tournament four times since 2003. Kleisters' final event of the season was the WTA Tour Championships, where she qualified for the seventh time. Despite a loss to Zona Riva in her last round-robin match, she advanced to the knockout rounds and defeated number 5 Stoser and world number 1 Caroline Wozniacki for her third title at the year-end championships. Kleisters finished the season at number 3 and was named WTA Player of the Year for the second time. 
By the start of 2011, Kleisters knew she was planning to retire in 2012 as she did not want to be on the tour while her daughter was in school. She began the season at the Sydney International, where she finished runner-up to Lee NA in straight sets despite winning the first five games of the match. The two also met in the final of their next tournament, the Australian Open. Although Kleisters again lost the first set, she recovered to win the championship, her fourth Grand Slam singles title and first outside of the US Open. This title would be the last of Kleisters' career. She made one last final at her next WTA event, the Paris Open, where she was defeated by Petra Kvitova. Nonetheless, this result helped Kleisters regain the world number one ranking before Caroline Wozniacki took it back one week later. During the rest of the season, Kleisters was limited by a variety of injuries and only played five more tournaments. She needed to retire from a fourth round match at the Indian Wells Open due to a shoulder injury. Then, as a result of a right ankle injury suffered while dancing at a wedding in April, the French Open was the only clay court event she entered. At the second Grand Slam tournament of the year, she was upset in the second round by number 114 Arantzaros after failing to convert two match points in the second set. Aggravating that ankle injury at her next event then forced her to miss Wimbledon. Kleisters returned for the Canadian Open, where she suffered an abdominal injury that kept her out the remainder of the season. Kleisters was unable to stay healthy in her last year on the WTA Tour. In the first week of the season, she returned to the Tour for the Brisbane International. After winning her first three matches back, she needed to retire in the semi-finals due to hip spasms, a precautionary measure to prepare for the Australian Open. As the defending champion at the year's first Grand Slam event, Kleisters made it to the semi-finals. Her fourth-round victory came against number 5 Lee Inne in a rematch of the 2011 final. She overcame rolling her ankle in the first set and saved four match points at 6-2 in the second set tiebreak to win in three sets. After Kleisters defeated world number one Caroline Wozniacki in the quarterfinals, she lost to number three Victoria Azarenka in another three-set match. Both her hip and ankle continued to trouble her for months after the tournament, forcing her to skip the clay court season. After playing once in March and returning in mid-June, the last WTA events of Kleisters's career were the final two Grand Slam tournaments of the season. She lost at Wimbledon in the fourth round to number 8 Angelique Kerber, only winning two games. Kleisters entered the US Open having not lost a match there since the 2003 final. She recorded her last WTA singles match win against Victoria Duval in the first round before falling to Laura Robson in her next match. Her career ended with a second-round mixed doubles loss alongside Bob Bryan to the eventual champions Ekaterina Makarova and Bruno Soares, at which point she officially retired. Kleisters made her Fed Cup debut for Belgium in 2000 at the age of 16. The top-tier world group that year consisted of 13 teams, 12 of which were divided into three round-robin groups. The winners of the round-robin groups in April would compete with the defending champion United States team in a knockout format for the title in November. Belgium was placed in a group with Australia, France, and Russia. Each tie was contested over one date as a best of three rubbers, two in singles and the last in doubles. Kleisters only played singles, while Els Callens and Lawrence Gertois played all three doubles matches. Although Kleisters narrowly lost her debut to Elena Dokic of Australia by a score of 9-7 in the third set, her teammates were able to secure the time. She won her other two matches against Natalie Taziat of France and Anna Kornikova of Russia both of which were crucial as Belgium won each of those ties 2-1 as well to win the group. In the semi-finals, Hennen returned to the team as they faced the United States, the hosts for the final rounds. After Hennen lost to Monica Seles, Kleisters needed to defeat Lindsay Davenport to keep Belgium in the tournament. She won the second set, but ultimately lost the match. The following year, the format for the Fed Cup changed again. The entire competition was played out in November. The three round robin pools were reduced to two, and the winners of each pool would contest a final tie for the title. Belgium's team of Kleisters, Hennen, Callens, and Courtois from the 2000 final all returned for 2001. The United States withdrew before the start of the event, citing security concerns a few months after the September 11 terrorist attacks. With Hennen and Kleisters exclusively playing singles, and Callens and Courtois playing doubles, Belgium won all nine of their rubbers against Spain, Germany, and Australia to advance to the final. Facing Russia, Henin defeated Nadia Petrova and Kleisters defeated Elena Dementieva to secure Belgium's first Fed Cup crown. Courtois commented, We were never under any pressure, 
mainly because Kin and Justine were so strong. While Kleisters and Hannon were on the team, Belgium came closest to another Fed Cup triumph in 2006. In this year, the world group consisted of eight teams in a knockout tournament. The three rounds were spread out over April, July, and September. Each tie was played as a best of five rubbers, with four singles followed by one doubles. In the first round against Russia, both Kleisters and Hannon made themselves available and won three out of four singles matches to advance. Although Hannon missed the semi-final, Kleisters and Kirsten Flipkins were able to lead Belgium to a victory over the United States, who were also shorthanded without Lindsay Davenport or the Williams sisters. However, Kleisters was forced to miss the Fed Cup final due to a wrist injury. Hannon and Flipkins returned for the final, which Belgium hosted against Italy. The tie was decided by the doubles rubber, which Belgium lost after Hannon aggravated an knee injury she suffered in one of her singles rubbers and needed to retire down 2-0 in the third set. Kleisters also played on the Belgium Fed Cup team from 2002-05 and 2010-11 and after she returned from retirement. The team's best results in those years were two semi-final appearances in 2003 and 2011. Kleisters missed the ties in which Belgium was eliminated in both instances. Overall, Kleisters compiled a 24-4 record in Fed Cup, split across 21-3 in singles and 3-1 in doubles. Kleisters participated in the Hotman Cup from 2001-04, partnering with Olivier Rokas in the first instance and Xavier Malice thereafter. The tournament consists of eight teams, each with one female and one male player from the same country. The teams are divided into two round-robin groups, the winners of which compete for the title. Each tie consists of a women's singles match, a men's singles match, and a mixed doubles match. The Belgian team did not advance to final in any of the years Kleisters participated. Their best performances came in 2002 and 2003 when they won two out of three round robin ties. In 2002, they finished tied for first with the United States and Italy in a group that also featured France. Belgium's only loss came against the United States, with Kleisters and Malice losing both singles matches to Monica Seles and Jan Michael Ganville, respectively. Although the United States lost to Italy, they advanced out of the group on the tiebreak criteria, having won six rubbers compared to the five won by each of Belgium and Italy. Both of the ties Belgium had won were by a score of 2 to 1, with Kleisters losing to Francesca Schiavone against Italy and the pair losing the mixed doubles against the French team of Virginie Rosano and Arnaud Clement. The following year, Kleisters and Malice again lost to the United States, who fielded a different team of Serena Williams and James Blake. Kleisters did not compete at the Olympics until 2012 near the end of her career. She had been ranked inside the top 40 in the months leading up to the 2000 Sydney Olympics in September, high enough to qualify. However, she did not make herself available for selection for a variety of reasons including issues with her shoulder in the event's timing a week after the US Open. During the 2004 Athens Olympics, she was in the middle of a long absence from competition after undergoing wrist surgery. However, she had announced before the year began that she did not intend to compete at the Games because Adidas was the Belgian team's uniform sponsor and her contract with Fila forbade her from wearing clothing from another company. The 2008 Beijing Olympics took place during her first retirement. Having missed these three previous events, Kleisters' desire to represent Belgium at the Olympics was one of the underlying reasons why she prolonged her second career until the 2012 London Games in late July. At the time, she did not have good results at her most recent tournaments, withdrawing from the Rosmal and Grasscourt Championships in the semi-finals in June due to injury and suffering a lopsided loss in the fourth round at Wimbledon. In her Olympic debut, Kleisters won her first three matches in straight sets, defeating Roberta Vinci, Carlos Suarez Navarro, and number 12 Anna Ivanovic in succession. She faced number 3 Maria Sharapova in the quarterfinals, losing in straight sets one match before the medal rounds. Kleisters' biggest rival was Justine Hennen, who grew up in the French speaking part of Belgium. They have been regarded as having little in common except their nationality and their relationship has varied over time. Their rivalry began during their junior years when they were both considered promising young talents. They started out as friends and won the Belgian Junior Championships as doubles partners at ages 10 and 11 respectively, despite only being able to communicate with hand signals due to Kleisters not knowing French and Hannon not knowing Flemish. However, their friendship began to fade by their mid-teens, leading to disputes that their coaches would try to keep out of the media. Kleisters attributed this deterioration in part to one of Hannon's coaches telling Hannon she had to hate all of her opponents 
and only then could she win. She also acknowledged they had very different personalities. Kleisters and Hannon typically downplayed any disagreements between them, saying they were overdramatized by the media. When they were professionals, Kleisters accused Hennen of routinely faking injuries in their matches to receive medical timeouts. Additionally, Kleisters' father seemed to allege that Hennen was taking performance enhancing drugs. Although they had won the Fed Cup together in 2001, they were not interested in playing on the same team in 2004 or 2005. The following year, Kleisters' former coach Karl Mies, who was then the Belgian Fed Cup captain, helped convince Kleisters to reunite with Hennen and together they ultimately reached another final dot on the court, they play at each other in 25 WTA matches, making each of them the other's most frequent opponent. Although Kleisters won the series 13-12, Hennen won 7 out of their 11 meetings in finals including all three at Grand Slam tournaments. The latest stage when Kleisters had it a major was in the semifinals of the 2001 French Open. She also defeated Hennen en route to her first WTA Tour Championship in 2002. Kleisters dominated their hardcore meetings 8 to 4, while Hennen dominated on clay 5 to 1. Hennen also won 3 of their 5 grass court encounters. Before both of their first retirements, Hennen was leading the series 12 to 10. However, Kleisters won all 3 of their meetings during their comebacks to win the series. The Williams sisters are widely recognized as dominating tennis since around the turn of the century. They were both number one in the world and combined for 15 Grand Slam singles titles while Kleisters was on tour. Kleisters had a record of just 2-7 against Serena, who she called her toughest opponent. She fared better against Venus, compiling a winning record of 7-6. Kleisters's rivalry with Serena included two of the biggest controversies in Serena's career, the 2001 Indian Wells final which led to both Williams' sisters' long boycott of the tournament and the 2009 U.S. Open semi-final which Serena lost on a point penalty. Serena defeated Kleisters in their first five meetings. She also won all four of their three-set encounters, including their 1999 U.S. Open third-round match in their 2003 Australian Open semi-final where Kleisters had the opportunity to serve for both matches. Although Kleisters only had two wins against Serena, both were considered big upsets and among the most important wins of her career. Her victory in the 2002 WTA Tour Championship final gave Kleisters her biggest title at the time, and her win at the 2009 US Open set up her first Grand Slam singles title as a mother one match later. Kleisters also defeated Venus in both of those tournaments, making her the only player to record wins over both Williams sisters at the same event twice. Venus also initially dominated her rivalry with Kleisters. She won six of their first eight meetings including two in the late stages of Grand Slam tournaments in the quarterfinals of the 2001 U.S. Open and the semifinals of 2003 Wimbledon. Venus also eliminated Kleisters from the Diamond Games in Belgium twice in 2003 and 2005. Additionally, one of Kleisters' first two wins against Venus was a retirement due to injury at the 2002 WTA Tour Championships. Nonetheless, Kleisters rebounded to win their last five meetings and end her career leading in their head-to-head -head record. Three of those five victories came at the U.S. Open en route to her three titles at the event in 2005, 2009, and 2010. In addition to Hennen and the Williams sisters, Kleisters also developed rivalries with several other players who had been ranked number one in the world. Two of her most frequent opponents were Lindsay Davenport and Amelie Moresmo. Kleisters narrowly had winning records against both of them, going 9-8 versus Davenport and 8-7 versus Moresmo. Davenport had won six of their first seven meetings before Kleisters won eight of their next nine encounters, including all five in 2003. Kleisters defeated Davenport in all four of their meetings in finals, including two at the Indian Wells Open. While Davenport had a 5-1 lead in Grand Slam tournaments, Kleisters won their latest stage such meeting in the semifinals of the 2003 US Open. Unlike against Davenport, Kleisters initially dominated her rivalry with Moresmo winning eight of their first ten matches before Moresmo took the last five. They met in two WTA Tour Championship finals, which they split. Moresmo also denied Kleister's chances to win more titles in her home country when she won their finals at both the 2006 and 2007 Diamond Games. During Kleister's first retirement, the invitation to participate in the Roof Test Exhibition Series at Wimbledon in May 2009 inspired her to return to the WTA Tour. In the summer, she joined the St. Louis Aces of the World Team Tennis League to help prepare for her comeback. 
She also played world team tennis the following year as a member of the New York Sport Times. On July 8, 2010, an exhibition match between Kleisters and Hannon was scheduled as an attempt to set a new world record for largest attendance at a tennis match. The contest took place at the King Vaudland Stadium and was a part of the Best of Belgium National Festival. After Hannon needed to withdraw from the match due to an elbow injury, Serena Williams was chosen as a replacement. Although Williams injured her foot several days before the match, she chose to play. Kleisters defeated Williams in straight sets. A total of 35,681 people attended the match, breaking the world record of 30,472 set in 1973 by the battle of the sexes between Billie Jean King and Bobby Riggs. Beginning in 2009, the Diamond Games in Antwerp was reorganized from a WTA tournament into an exhibition series. During her comeback, Kleisters played at the event three times, winning matches against Venus Williams in 2009, Hannon in 2010, and world number one Caroline Wozniacki in 2011. She continued to play at the event after retiring. The 2012 edition was named Kim's Thank You Games in honor of her retirement, and the following year the event was known as the Kim Kleisters Invitational. In 2015, the Diamond Games were revived as a WTA event with Kleister serving as the tournament director. She also played an exhibition set with finalist Andrea Petkovic after her opponent withdrew before the start of the championship match due to injury. Since her retirement in 2012, Kleisters has regularly played in the Legends, Champions, and Invitation Doubles events at all four Grand Slam tournaments. One of her matches in the 2017 Wimbledon Ladies Invitation Doubles event drew public interest for Kleisters inviting a male spectator onto the court to play a few points. The spectator, Chris Quinn, had suggested Kleisters try a body serve when she had asked the crowd whether she should serve left or right. Before playing the points, she gave Quinn a women's shirt and scored so that he could abide by Wimbledon's all-white dress code. A video of the incident has over 4 million views on YouTube. Kleisters has been ranked as the 14th greatest women's tennis player in the open era by Tennis.com. Her 41 singles titles are the 14th most in the open era. Since 2000, only the Williams sisters, Justine Hennen and Maria Sharapova have won more than her four Grand Slam singles titles. The three titles she won at the WTA Tour Championships are tied for the fifth most in history behind only Martina and Avridilova, Steffi Graf, Serena Williams, and Chris Evert. Kleisters was a champion at all four Grand Slam tournaments, winning the French Open in Wimbledon in doubles and the US Open and Australian Open in singles. Her prowess at singles and doubles is also highlighted by her becoming one of six players in WTA history to be number one in the world in both rankings at the same time. Kleisters and Hannon are recognized for putting Belgium on the tennis map. Before they established themselves in the upper echelon of women's tennis, Dominique Van Roost was the only player in Belgian history to be ranked in the top 10 of the ATP or WTA rankings, a mark she did not achieve until 1998 after Kleisters and Hennen turned professional. The Belgium Fed Cup team had never reached the quarterfinals until 1997 when they made the semifinals. With Kleisters on the team, Belgium made it to at least the semifinals four times, reaching the final in 2006 and winning the championship in 2001. She also became the first Belgian to be ranked number one in each of singles and doubles. Belgium was regarded as dominating women's tennis when Kleisters and Hennen were the top two players in the world for several months in late 2003. After Kleisters' retirement, she established the Kim Kleisters Academy in her hometown of Brie. The academy is run by Kleisters' longtime coach Carl Meis and is intended to serve young players. Compatriot Elise Mertens is among those who train at the facility. Kleisters was one of the most popular and well liked players in tennis among both fans and her fellow players. She won the Karen Kransk Sportsmanship Award a record eight times. Kleisters was proud of her reputation as one of the nicest players on the WTA tour, saying, I always try every day to be a good person and to be nice to others, and I think that's probably the most important thing. I'm proud that I won tournaments and everything but I want players to think that Kim was a nice person. Kleisters was also regarded as a source of inspiration to mothers on the WTA Tour, a role she embraced. She is one of three mothers to win a Grand Slam singles title, and her three such titles are tied with Margaret Court for the most of all time. Additionally, Kleisters is the only mother to be ranked number one in the world since the start of the WTA rankings in 1975. She appeared on the Time 100 list in 2011 as one of the most influential people in the world in large part because of her successful comeback.
Kleisters was an all-court player who employed a mixture of offensive and defensive styles of play. On the defensive side, her movement was regarded as exceptional, enabling her to endure long rallies. Maria Sharapova has commented that, you just have to expect that she's going to get every ball back. In addition to her movement, Kleisters often extended points with her signature shot, a stretched out white forehand, also known as a squash shot. This type of forehand involves hitting the ball with slice to make up for being out of position. When hitting a squash shot on the run, Kleisters was known for her trademark play of sliding towards the ball and finishing in a split to extend her reach. While most players can only slide on clay, Kleisters could slide on any surface. Tennis journalist Peter Bodo has noted, grass and hard courts do not permit sliding unless your name is Kim Kleisters. The strengths of Kleisters' game were built around playing aggressively to generate offense without losing control. She excelled at hitting both forehand and backhand winners from the baseline. Kleisters was regarded as one of the best returners of serve and would try to take control of the point immediately, to put herself in an offensive position from the beginning. She was aggressive in the middle of points as well. While the squash shot is generally regarded as a defensive shot, Kleisters could turn it into an offensive weapon by placing it well enough to have time to recover into a good court position. Additionally, she possessed the ability to quickly move in from the baseline to the net, setting herself up to hit winners and finish points. She was adept at hitting swinging volleys on both the forehand and backhand sides because of her solid ground stroke technique. Kleisters credited her experience in doubles for improving her net game in singles, saying it made her focus on going to the net more and helped her know when to come to the net. Her coach Ben Fassett attributed her success at Grand Slam events after her comeback to being more aggressive than she was before her first retirement. Kleisters worked with Belgian coaches throughout her career. Her first coach was Bart van Kerkhoven, who she later invited to her championship match at the 2010 US Open. She began her professional career with Karl Mies as her coach. Mies was a student of Benny van Hout who led the Saturday training sessions while Kleisters was also working with van Hout in Diest. He moved to the Flemish Tennis Association Center in Wilrich when Kleisters was 13 years old and invited her to join him. In her first year in Wilrich, she also worked with Mark de House. Mies coached Kleisters from 1996 to May 2002, during which she won the Fed Cup and finished as the runner up at the 2001 French Open. Shortly before the 2002 US Open, she hired de House as her new coach and continued to work with him through 2005. Under de House, Kleisters won two WTA Tour championships and two Grand Slam doubles titles. They split a week after she won her first Grand Slam singles title at the 2005 US Open. It was reported that DeHouse left because he was unhappy with only receiving a $7,500 bonus from her $2.2 million in US Open prize money, however, he denied this was his only financial compensation and attributed his departure to wanting to take on new challenges after all of their success in 2005. Kleisters opted to play without a coach from then until her first retirement. When Kleisters began her comeback in 2009, she hired Vint Fassett to be her coach. Fassett, who was three years older, had trained with Kleisters under Van Hout when they were both juniors. He had also served as her hitting partner from 2005 until her first retirement. With Fassett as her coach, Kleisters won three more Grand Slam singles titles and regained the world number one ranking. In June 2011, Sherry hired Mize as her coach, leading to Fassett's departure several months later. Kleisters worked with Mize through the end of her career. During her playing career, Kleisters was represented by Belgian company Galazzo Sports. Babelad has sponsored her racket since 1999, and she specifically has used the Pure Drive model. Fila has been Kleisters' clothing sponsor since 2002. She had previously worn Nike apparel but was not under contract. Kleisters is conscious about selecting which products to endorse, saying, if it's not healthy for kids, for example, I'm not going to endorse a product. I don't want to give the wrong impression. We try to live a healthy lifestyle and if it doesn't match me as a person, I turn it down. To have my name on a product, I want to be behind it fully. She has turned down Nutella in addition to endorsements that involve her daughter. While on tour, she endorsed banana supplier Chiquita and United Soft Drinks, the producer of the 8A Sports Drink. Additionally, she was a brand ambassador for nutrition company USANA as well as the Citizen Watch Signature Collection. She also had endorsement deals with Belgian telecommunications company Telenet, personnel services firm Adeco, 
and the travel services company Thomas Cook Group. Since Kleisters' retirement, Van Lanshot Banking helped sponsor the Kim Kleisters Academy. Kleisters is married to Brian Lynch, an American basketball coach and former player. Lynch played college basketball at Villanova before pursuing a professional career in Europe. The two met while Lynch was a member of Youth and Ebree, the team based in Kleisters' hometown, and initially bonded over both having peg bulldogs. They became a couple in 2005 and married in 2007. They have three children, a daughter Jada, born 2008, and two sons Jack, born 2013, and Blake, born 2016. The family splits their time living in Bree and New Jersey. Kleisters' sister Elka, who was younger by a year and a half, was also a promising tennis player. Like Kim, Elka won two Junior Grand Slam doubles titles. She was also the ITF World Junior Doubles Champion in 2002. On the professional tour, she achieved a top 400 ranking in singles and a top 250 ranking in doubles. Kim and Elka entered one doubles tournament together on the WTA tour at the 2004 Diamond Games in Antwerp. They won their opening match against Salima Scar and Caroline Vist before losing to the second-seeded team of Emily Lloyd and Petra Mangela in the next round. Elka retired in 2004 at age 19 due to persistent back problems. In Kleisters' early career, she was in a long term relationship with Australian tennis player Leighton Hewitt. They met at the 2000 Australian Open and were engaged before mutually ending their relationship in late 2004. The pair entered the mixed doubles event at Wimbledon in 2000, losing in the final. Their relationship earned Kleisters the nickname Aussie Kim and she remained popular among Australian tennis fans even after they separated. When Kleisters won the 2011 Australian Open, she believed she earned her nickname, saying, Now you can finally call me Aussie Kim. Kleisters's childhood tennis idol was Steffi Graf. She cites her lone WTA to her match against Graf at Wimbledon in 1999 as being very influential, saying, It was unbelievable. All I wanted to do was watch her. I wanted to see how she tied her shoelaces, what her ponytail looked like, how she carried her bag. Even though I lost, the impact of it and the motivation it gave me was huge. It was definitely the biggest moment of my career. She also looked up to Monica Seles and viewed both Graf and Seles as role models, drawing inspiration from their level of focus. Kleisters is involved with multiple organizations that help children. She has served as an ambassador for SOS Children's Villages in Belgium since 2010. SOS provides aid to children living without their parents and to impoverished families. Kleisters has also founded 10 for Kim, a nonprofit that funds junior tennis players who cannot afford the costs associated with training at a high level. Since Kleisters retired, she has served as a part time coach to several players, including compatriots Elise Mertens and Yenina Wickmayer. She has also occasionally been a commentator at the Grand Slam tournaments, working for the BBC at Wimbledon and for Channel 7 at the Australian Open. Sources ITF Profile and WTA Profile ITF Awards World Champion, 2005 WTA Awards Newcomer of the Year, 1999 Karen Kransk Sportsmanship Award, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2005, 2006, 2009, 2012 Peachy Kelmeyer Player Service Award, 2003, 2006, 2010 Comeback Player of the Year, 2005, 2009. Player of the Year, 2005, 2010. Humanitarian of the Year, 2006 National Awards. Belgian Promising Youngster of the Year, Balotival John Gier van Hedjar 1998. Belgian Sportswoman of the Year, 1999, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2005, 2009, 2010. 2011. Flemish Giant, Vlaams Redis 2000, 2001, 2010. Flemish Sports Jewel, Vlaams Sport Jewel 2001. Belgian National Sports Merit Award, 2001, with Hannon. Belgian Sports Personality of the Year, 2003. Grand Cross of the Order of the Crown, by Royal Decree of King Albert II, Groot Cruz in the Krugnord 2003, with Hannon. Belgian Sporting Team of the Year, 2006, with Fed Cup team members Butkowicz, Flipkins, Hannon, and Caroline Mice, International Awards. Laureus World Sports Award for Comeback of the Year, 
2010. International Tennis Hall of Fame inductee, 2017. List of Grand Slam Women's Singles Champions. List of Grand Slam Women's Doubles Champions. Boda Peter, May 20, 2010. The Clay Ran Red, Roger Federer vs. Rafael Nadal at Roland Garros. Diversion. ISBN 9780984515134. De Wolf, Philip, De Jong, Wilfried, March 16, 2013. Kim Kleisters, First and Only Official Career Overview. Cannibal Publishing. ISBN 9789491376580. Rive, Joey, Williams, Scott C., November 15, 2018. Tennis Skills and Drills. Human Kinetics. ISBN 9780736083089. Van de Wimkel, Frank, May 2012. Kim Kleisters, The Biography, in Dutch. Spectrum. ISBN 9789000306404.